looks like a cross between a helicopter and a hovercraft and can take off and land vertically. It's called the Air Mule and is a giant drone that can pick up and drop off supplies or people. It's meant to be used in areas too dangerous for other aircraft. It can operate inside villages and cities, land on a sidewalk uh, or in rough terrain, on a path, uh, in a clearing, in a forest. Uh, and it doesn't have the overhead rotor and tail rotors which are characteristic of helicopters and which cause so many accidents. It does all of that automatically. It can fly very low, close to terrain. It has various sensors to enable it to do this mission without any supervision. The drone is capable of carrying 500 kilograms and can be manned or remotely controlled and carry out a variety of tasks, especially in emergency situations. Imagine a dirty bomb in a city. Uh, with a lot of radiation or a chemical material or something that's evolving inside the city center uh, with no humans uh, uh, being able to get into that area and no helicopter being able, especially if it's an unmanned helicopter, uh, being able to go into that confined area without uh, hitting something on the way. The EMU can deliver field supplies or retrieve injured soldiers from a battlefield. It can reach speeds of 115 miles an hour at 18,000 feet. The firm hopes it will be in the field in two years' time.